Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So now we're on to supper. And I was going to make this one last week and then I changed my mind we did something else. So the first thing I'm going to do is it's three ingredient Mexican rice. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two cups. I'm doubling everything because I'm making enough for Christopher and for me and Tom. And there should be leftovers. So I'm doing two cups of rice. Alrighty. And put that off to the side. And we're going to use four cups of chicken broth. I know I'm buying using store-bought because, well, I haven't had any chicken lately to be able to make broth. So we're going to use a store brand. I go through my own canned really quickly, actually. All right, so four cups is one of these containers. So we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to add two cans of the red, red enchilada sauce. All right. Now we're going to want to stir this and bring it up to a boil. Here we go, cooking rice and stuff again without <laughs> with stuff in it. It's something always that makes me nervous. I don't know why, it just does. All right. So now, while we're waiting on that, I need about this much more room on my countertops, I tell you. <laughs> while we're waiting on that to come to a boil, we're going to start getting stuff ready. So I need an onion chopped. So we're going to get that onion chopped up. I had to have Jack come get me something on my cupboard. I couldn't reach it even with using a handle. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> Try not to ask for any help, but sometimes you don't have much of a choice. Tom puts that stuff up on the top shelf. And I'm like, you do know that I'm only 5'6", right? 5'7", <laughs> seven, something like that. It's a lot easier when he's 6'2", to reach everything, you know? Jack's 5'10", he just came over and like, bloop, there it is. You wouldn't think that 4 inches would make a big difference, but it does. It truly does. All right. Let's get this other onion chopped. Yeah, I'm not sure how many this is going to make, but I'm going to actually make it until everything runs out. So that's how we're doing it. That's how we're going to roll. Oh, be nice if you guys could see something, huh? <laughs> Sometimes, you guys. My brain just doesn't work right. <laughs> now we're going to keep the cutting board out. And let me put this trade places with this. We don't need these right yet. But we will. All right, now I am going to chop up some chicken. And we want them to be a little bit smaller than they were last week because these are going to go into, oh, I didn't tell you what we're making. We're making chicken burritos. So we want them small enough chunks that we can fit them nicely in a burrito and that you're not just getting all chicken when you do that. So let's get all these chopped up really nice. Hopefully I got enough chicken to do both of our meals. I'm hoping. If not, I got another one I can take out and thaw out in the microwave if I need to. I 
don't think you need to be bored watching me chop up chicken. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, so now it got up to a boil. I'm gonna move it over to this other burner over here on medium. And we're gonna cover it, just stirring it occasionally. That was a lid off of something of my mom's and I still love it, so I keep it. <laughs> All right, so now we got our diced up chicken. And we're gonna start to cook that. So we need half a teaspoon of salt. It helps if I turn that on, wouldn't it? <laughs> and we need a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I don't worry about the pepper so much because I really do like the flavor. Even though people will tell you that, you know, it's not healthy. A lot of pepper's not healthy, but I happen to like it. I'm getting measuring spoons out here. I'm not with it today, I guess. All right. So now we need a teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm wondering if you just couldn't use um, taco seasoning, but I'm going to follow the directions here. But I think that you could probably use taco seasoning. All right. Now we need a teaspoon of cumin. And we need a teaspoon of paprika. And we need a teaspoon of oregano. I might have to look up my recipe, but I think a lot of these things are already in my taco season. And then we need two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to get that all stirred in together. I just think these are going to be really, really good. All right. So I got that chicken all covered just about. I think these are going to be delicious. Let me bring you down here and show you. Oh, yeah. So let this cook for just a little bit, and then we'll come back and we'll get to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to add the onion. And we're going to add three cloves of garlic, which you guys know I just get minced garlic. So I'm going to put three nice teaspoons in there of it. All right, then you need, it'd be, oh shoot, I have to put a little bit more in there because I forgot I'm doubling it. You know what, you guys? I screwed up. <laughs> I wasn't doubling this recipe. Hold on, let me add the spices I need to. All right, so I got that added in there. Sorry about that. So now it says to do two medium red bell peppers. So you know I told you I was going to use them up that I had from yesterday. And then the rest I will use for breakfast. So we're going to put that over there. Because I don't like to freeze and unfreeze and freeze my veggies once I've done that. I could have just broken off enough to use. But I knew I'd be using some today so that's why I took the whole container out. Alrighty. Now I took the lid off the rice and I turned it on low. Be 
because it's going to, um, you know, you need it to thicken up just a little bit. So now we need, it says a cup and a half, but I'm going to use two full cans of refried beans. Tom, Tom can't find my beans downstairs. <laughs> so that's why I haven't been making my own. Well, that's going to be full, huh? <laughs> that's going to be very full. But that's okay. It'll work. I'll get it in there, mixed in there somehow. Me and can sometimes just don't get along, do we? I tell you. All right, so now I'm going to get all this mixed together. Oh, and a half cup of water. I'm going to get all this mixed together, and then I'll be back. Let me show you the rice so far. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let me get all this mixed together, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to do two burritos at a time. And it does say to wrap them up in... in um, tin foil and you can put them in the oven for 10 minutes or you can do them in a pan or on a griddle or whatever else you want to do. I'm just going to wrap mine up and then I'll decide what I'm going to do because <laughs> Tom's not going to be home for quite a few hours so um, I don't know that I want to cook them yet and I'm sure the kids could put theirs in the oven for you know 10 minutes. So let's put these together and then we'll figure it out. How's that? All right, so we've, I'm going to do two at a time, and we're going to put some of that rice concoction down first. Probably not that much next time. <laughs> and, you know, if you have leftovers, it's not like you can't, you know, make some later down the road. Just, sit, you know, freeze up your what you have left. Now, I went with a bigger pan because... That wasn't working so well. <laughs> so then you're going to put that chicken in there. Just like that. Then, I know it's going to sound weird, but then you put a strip of corn. And then you put some cheese on top. Just like so. Then you're going to fold those burritos. And I'm going to put them right here on the pan for now. Try to keep everything inside those. So when then you flip them, everything stays inside. Let's do two more. <laughs> and then maybe by then I'll decide what I want to do. I do have the oven on just in case, but I can always turn that off. Because I like to get theirs done early enough that they can actually have it for dinner. And then, you know, because Tom won't be home till like 7 tonight. Because he works till 5. So, it says each one will make about 8 burritos, so we'll see. But, I mean, this has the best of everything in there. You know, you got your chicken, you got your refried beans, you got rice. Oh, yeah. I couldn't wait to make these, but then she showed me what they really wanted, and I'm like, okay, we'll do that instead. All right. You can add as much cheese as you want. If you want them real cheesy, make them real cheesy. Nobody's watching what you're doing. <laughs> And you do you. And I'm going to make these up. I don't know. They say it makes eight. I don't know if it does or not. But I'm just going to keep making them until everything is gone. So, I'll come back when I got all these put together. Alright, so I got 16 burritos. I ended up giving two to Jack and then gave him... There was no rice left. I was too heavy-handed in the beginning. 
but I did get enough to spread it out. Um, it just wasn't as heavy. And there was a little bit of um, stuffing mix left. That was it. So I decided to go ahead and wrap them in the aluminum because tonight I can put, I can ask Tom on his way home, how hungry are you? And I'm sure he'll eat three. <laughs> and I might eat one, one and a half, and he'll eat the rest. And so I figured if I heated it up in the oven, then it will toast them a little bit. And then whatever's left, that's why I decided to do this, whatever's left that they don't want to use that night, they can put them in the freezer for another night because eight is going to be a lot of burritos for somebody. And I ran out of the little pre-cut packages that I get of aluminum foil from the Dollar Tree. So next time I go, I need to get those because <laughs> they worked perfect for that. But I only had three sheets left. So I had to use regular aluminum foil. So thanks for coming along with me today. I know it's been a busy day. I got a sink full of dishes to take care of. They're all clean, but they got to be taken care of. And it's been a busy day. Now I'm going to relax until it's time for Tom to come home. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing. And I will let Tom taste test these when he gets home. Well, hi, Tom. Hello. Been a long day, huh? Very long. Time to watch movies after dinner. Yeah. And just mm -hmm. chill. There he goes. He's got three burritos. He thinks he's tough enough to eat them all. What? Watch Jaws. Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't care. You can watch Jaws. We think. It's good. Real you, good. You like them? We think about the rice in there. That's really good. <laughs> Made my own rice. Your homemade or make? Yep. I followed their recipe and it was, I think it turned out really good. They're yeah, really good. <laughs> so I was talking to everybody earlier and I was starting to tell them goodbye and everything. And then I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot. Tom, <laughs> he was taste test. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, so now you guys can have a blessed night. Be a blessing. Tom is cooking in the morning. It's going to be more of a traditional thing because I've got a lot of potatoes to use up. Since I ordered 20 pounds instead of 10 pounds. By accident, yeah. By accident, yes. So we got potatoes to use. That's what I've been eating for lunch every day is potatoes. <laughs> I've been using those red bags. I know. <laughs> but I don't want them to go bad, so, you know. Anyway, so we'll be back. Tom's going to cook breakfast, and then he's going to cook a real easy dinner that's one of his favorite things to make. I'm trying to say I'm going to be carrying a sack of potatoes. Yeah, something like that. So you'll get to see Tom cook twice tomorrow. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. You guys have a great night.